We're on board the brand new Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship for Royal Caribbean. And we're taking you inside the regular traditional ocean view balcony staterooms. We're gonna tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly of a traditional ocean view balcony. What's going on? My name's Jared. Jordan is out filming the ship. She is humongous, the world's biggest cruise ship for a reason, and he is going to get that ship tour completely finished here for you and your viewing pleasure. But I am here telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly of our traditional ocean view balcony. Now, there are multiple types of balconies on board, icon of the seas. And this is gonna be one that is more usual, one that is more common for Royal Caribbean, but there's still the unique intricacies and we can't wait to tell you some of the things that we love, some of the things we absolutely hate, and some of the things just aren't to our liking. But before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button. We are so close to making our goal of 50,000 subscribers, so please be a part of the first 50K for JJ Cruz. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up. Now let's start out with the good, and there is a lot of good for this traditional ocean view balcony. First and foremost, the size. Right when you walk in, you do see that this is a good size traditional balcony. We also love the bright colors. The bright colors really make it to where it's an open, airy stateroom, which you don't always see sometimes in cabins today. Now for this cruise cabin, we do absolutely love the amount of storage. There are little nooks and crannies, shelving units, everything you can think of from drawers to little places to hide things behind a mirror. There are so many places to put your odds and ends and we really appreciate that for a brand new cruise ship today. On top of this, there are a ton of hooks. We know you all love to bring hooks on board to hang up your hats, hang up your bags, hang up anything that you may have that go on top of these metal walls. Well, Royal Caribbean did you a solid and brought the hooks for you. They are all over the place from inside closet spaces to on the walls. It is really nice to have and we absolutely appreciate them. We can't talk about the good without talking about the shower. The shower is absolutely perfect. We love the fact that it is this longer shape to where you have a bench as well as a towel rack for your towel. You can really go into the shower, have plenty of space to both shower and dry off before ever coming into your bathroom. And if you're anyone like me, I hate a soggy bottom. <laughs> and when you go into a bath that has just a curtain or has a place where you can get a lot of water out into the main area. It causes for wet socks and we hate that. So this is fantastic and we love the fact that you can really shower and dry off all within the shower. Another great thing that we love about this stateroom is the fact that it is high tech. You have lots of outlets, which we know with our day and age is needed. There are two USB-C outlets four USB outlets. There are two US outlets in the stateroom as well as two in the bathroom. There's one European outlet. And so you really have plenty of different places to plug and play or charge your devices. It is really nice to have that amount of outlets, but it also goes into the TV and the way the temperature and lights are. You can actually access all of this from a panel on the wall, and we really love the fact that you can change the temperature at any time, change the light situation to where it's a little bit more of a dim lighting if you like a dim lighting at night, or if you like to wake up with the lights and have them slowly rise up. All of these are accessible on the panel, and we absolutely love the high-tech nature. Lastly, you have to talk about the balcony. Obviously the big reason why people get a traditional ocean view balcony is to see the ocean views. The absolute breathtaking ocean views are available here on board Icon of the Seas in a traditional ocean view balcony. You have two reclining chairs with a footrest, which we absolutely love, as well as a table side uh, place to put your drink or a book or maybe even have your breakfast out on the balcony. It is a really good size, enough space to really recline and enjoy your private space whenever you like. Now let's talk about the bad. And there are a few things that we just have to talk about, unfortunately. The first one we have to talk about is a specific color. 
and that color is yellow. Now, we like yellow in small accents, but there is yellow all over this room. Yellow is a sign of caution, warning. It's a little anxiety ridden, right? You're supposed to see yellow and be like, oh, hold on, am I doing things correctly? Yellow is unfortunately not the most welcoming of color in our opinion, and there's a lot of yellow in this stateroom. We wish it wasn't as much yellow. It's still bright and airy, which we love. Just wish that color would change or it'd be a little less of the yellow in the stateroom. On top of this, we have to talk about the outlets by the bed. Now there are two USB outlets as well as one US outlet on one side of the bed, but how the night stands are situated, the one US outlet doesn't really work with a CPAP machine. If you have one of those large CPAP machines, which are so popular today, those are common to need an extension cord. And unfortunately, at least with our stateroom, you would need an extension cord for this as well. Another bad is the baskets. There are baskets open underneath the closet space. Now, I love the basket drawers in some other cabins. However, they are still put away in a closet and actually have a rolling device. These are just baskets. You can literally move these around your stateroom, which I guess can be a nice thing. But for me, I really would rather have it enclosed for a few reasons. First and foremost, usually those baskets are used for shoes. And although shoes are good to have that area space, I don't really want to be smelling shoes right next to the bed. So that's why I feel like it's not the perfect placement. The other thing is I really would rather have it on a track so it's easy to pull out and push back in, not have to actually lift it, which can be really heavy depending what you put in those actual baskets. That was the good and bad. Now let's talk about our one ugly for this stateroom. And everything else we haven't talked about, by the way, the bed is just fine, does not, is not overwhelmingly comfortable and is also not uncomfortable by any means. The couch is just fine. All these things that we didn't talk about are neither amazing nor neither something bad. So don't take anything we didn't talk about today as anything but that it's just fine. It's a usual typical bed, typical sofa, so on. But we got to talk about the one ugly of this cabin. And it's something that's already gotten a little bit of attention already on other stateroom tours that I've seen. And I had to see it for myself. If you don't look closely enough, there is a floor length, floor to ceiling length mirror and it is perfect for getting ready. But if you don't know it, there's actually cabinet space hidden behind it, which we love. That is not the ugly. But within those cabinet spaces are the safe. And unfortunately, they didn't build enough space for that safe in those cabinet spaces. So it bleeds into your closet space. Initially, I didn't think this was going to be much of a problem. I thought, oh, it's probably not that much, but it is actually protruding enough into the closet space that with your hanging garments, you cannot use at least probably five to six inches of space. We already know closet spaces and cabins are very minimal. And so when you lose any space, it is not good. Obviously you could really smush them in there, but then that could ruin whatever's hanging up, put wrinkles in it. So we're really confused why they would put that in these closet spaces. It's obvious that it was probably an afterthought given that they built the closets around the safe, but it's really unfortunate because it does really take away some of the space for your hanging attire. And if you're taking long sailings, let's say seven nights plus, you might not have enough hanging space in these two closet spaces. Overall, what do we think? Those are the good, bad, and our ugly. We love this cabin. This cabin is actually a really great cabin. Uh, do not take any of the bad or the ugly as reasons not to book this cabin type. Of course, you just have to prepare better for some of the few things. There's a lot of storage space, which we absolutely love. Nooks, crannies, shelves, uh, drawers baskets, which we're not huge fans of, but they're there. So really, honestly, this is a great cabin and you're gonna have a great time if you choose to book this cabin. If you want to book this cabin with us, go to jjcruise.com. We are happy to book it for you. Icon of the Seas is huge. Ship Tour is coming soon on the channel, but let us know your thoughts. What are your thoughts of this actual type of stateroom? Do you think this is good? Do you think it's bad? Are there concerns you may have? Let us know in the comments below. We'll love to hear from you. And until next time, see ya. Jay